change of plans this one's staying at the farm to load uh, the empty soybean totes because this has the regular pallet forks that don't have I think them other ones are log forks and they don't like to go underneath the empty totes like these ones do so this one can sit over here for a while okay so we got more broken um after i get my war out and split boots back on my feet because i just put them their coveralls on to help keep me a little bit cleaner tired of ruining pants and then not being able to run them through the clothes washer because they're too dirty so what is broken on this john just saying 200 you ask it is up in there it is uh the hand throttle is broken well i shouldn't necessarily say broken i should just it is stiff okay it is so stiff that you have to put effort into moving that little guy that should not be like that if memory serves me correctly you got to pull this guy apart here jason knows how to do that i was not around when he did it and the only way that i think this thing gets down through there is you got to pull the floor up which means you got to take this mat apart take the pan out and do a whole bunch of other giblets that like i said that i was not here for so I don't know what all went into it. Um, all I know is that we cannot have it like this because it is stiff. Why it is like that, I have no idea. It has never been like that. The Chevy is brought over and put away. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Well, it's that time we take the duels off. The thing acted like it was cold for some reason. But... It is what it is. And I think it's time for a new cylinder for the for the steering wheel but it is what it is we're gonna work at taking these duels off so we can use this tractor to mow hay with gonna use a skid loader and uh take them forks off or move them ah oh, you poor shit No plow day today. It rained him. Oh well. Yep, it's really raining out. Got to scrape mower decks, but huh, I can see we're gonna have a lot of replanting in the future. yeah a lot of replanting so we'll get them decks scraped out 
that one I need a loader tractor or a crane or something to pick the deck up but not worried about that one um, just worried about this one because uh, it's all it's all plugged up so um, yeah oh my goodness Man. Well, that looks a lot better. Got the deck all cleaned out. Gonna clean the mess up and throw it in the gator so it can go out to the woods. Tractors probably wouldn't even make it 10 foot out in the field and they'd just sit there and paw at the ground trying to get traction. Clean the area up first, then I can put the mower back where it belongs. There, floor is all cleaned up, put the mower back. We don't go find something else to do. Yes, before anybody opens their mouth, it's supposed to be like that. Okay? No, I am not going to kill myself because that garage door is shut and that engine is sitting there running. It's just not going to happen in a building that's uh, designed for a 20 car building. It duels all off of this tractor, um, so that way, like I said, we can use it to mow hay. Time to clean the deck out from underneath this one, because it probably needs it. And we'll take and blow it off. not as bad as the other one really it's not I almost think oiling them makes the grass stick to them worse than if you don't oil them just need a window latch because uh, this one actually both of these are broken we thought we had a spare but it is also broken got the throttle all freed up in a cab um yes it was in the cab um what we had to do it was quite simple and um just taking squirt some oil down in this guy here and we got him all freed up like he should with no effort whatsoever um anybody has a sticky throttle or anything needs to oil it up and it will good as new no effort needed whatsoever another deck all clean if you don't keep them clean why it won't cut efficiently i don't know i just see a lot of replanting in the forecast um oh It is what it is, and we can't control the weather. It's just one of them things where we just gotta roll with it and make the best out of it. One more cow to calve yet for 2024 calving season. That little guy over there, he's still doing good. Can't do a whole lot of complaining. Of course, they don't do no good. Nobody will listen. It's wet out. Hey, at least we got 
of our crops in before it uh, really, really decided to rain. Now, whether or not we'll have to replant any, we'll just have to wait and see because that's not up to us. There's only one man in charge of that and uh, it's sad that nobody wants to hear about him. So I like talking about God. I don't care what anybody says. Um, the minute you start caring what people say, you will um, tire yourself out trying to please people. That's what I learned a couple months ago is to not give a flying crap about what anybody thinks. Because if you do, you will puck yourself out and um, you'll tuck yourself out and you will um, just not look at life the same again. So yeah, it is wet. The sun is in my eye and um, where did I put? And I left my sunglasses at home, gosh darn it. Ah, uh, yeah. So, grr. we'll catch you guys in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching. I do know that this end here weighs, weighs, lays wet all the time. Uh, that's just unfortunately how this end of the field is. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it right over there kind of right where my fingers pointing that is the lowest spot on the farm um yeah yeah wet 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 but like i said at least we got all of our 2024 crops in the field and uh we will just have to see what uh, the lord has in store for them he is in control and uh, we just need to pray ever so earnestly that he blesses those crops abundantly because after all he just uses us as a tool to take care of his land them cows would learn to eat it a little more sparingly we might not have to give them a bale of hay every three to four days <laughs>